Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a full face tutorial using only Laura Geller beauty products. She recently came out with a bunch of new pieces that they were so kind enough to send to me. So I wanted to just create a look using a bunch of new things. And I haven't really done a smoky eye in a while, so we're going to do a smoky eye today. So if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. I'm going to start off this tutorial by filling in my brows using the Laura Geller Brow Gel Pencil in the color Universal. I really like this formula because it glides on really nicely and I love the color. I feel like this can work with a lot of different colored brows. And it was really smooth so it was very easy to apply and I just blended it out with the spoolie on the other end. And you can just see the difference between one brow to the other. It really does make a difference but still look very natural. I'm starting off with the Laura Geller Delectables eyeshadow palette in the color Smoky Neutrals. The first color I'm going to use underneath my brow is cream or creme eyeshadow, however you want to pronounce it. And I'm just going to use this with a fluffy brush just to give a little highlight and glow under the brow. The next color I'm going to use is Butterscotch Eyeshadow, which is one of my favorites in the palette. I think it's just a perfect transition color. So I'm just going to apply this in my crease area with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend back and forth. Now I'm going to take the shadow called Macchiato with an angled eyeshadow brush and sweep this back and forth in my crease to start creating some depth and smoking out the look. Now I'm just going back with a fluffier angled eyeshadow brush just to sweep out the edges so there aren't any harsh lines. Now with the flat brush that comes in the palette, I'm going to use mahogany eyeshadow and pat this all across my lid just to create that smoky eye. Now I'm going back with a fluffy angled eyeshadow brush just to clean up those edges. This is the Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy Liquid Eyeliner Pen, and I decided to use a dark brown. I thought this would look nice against a matte eyeshadow, and I just created a winged line with this pen. I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara using the Laura Geller Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. Now I'm going to apply these falsies from House of Lashes. These are the Boudoir Lashes. I really like these. I've been playing around with them a lot lately and definitely more on the natural side compared to what I normally wear, but I love them. Now I'm going to work on the complexion and before we do, I'm going to prep everything and I'm going to test out this new spackle mist. So you can actually use this as a primer before your foundation. You can set your makeup and you can also use it to refresh your face throughout the day. Moving on to the complexion, this is the Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation. It's one of my favorites and I'm going to apply it with my Luxie foundation brush. Now I'm going to conceal around my face. This is the Real Deal Concealer from Laura Geller. I'm just going to apply this with a big flat foundation brush just to really conceal those areas underneath my eye area. And then I just put the excess concealer on my chin. I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender and then I'm going to set it with a little setting powder. This is the Balance and Brighten powder and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and just kind of dust this 
on the areas where I didn't use that concealer just to keep that liquid foundation in place and take care of the shine. I've been loving this bronzer. This is the Beach Matte Baked Hydrating Bronzer and this definitely gives me a little color around my face. So I apply it to my temples and in the hollows of my cheeks just to give my face a little bit more definition. This is a brand new palette from Laura Geller. It's the Get Gilded palette and I'm just going to take the blush that's in this palette. It will give a really pretty glow with a pink undertone and I'm just using the angled brush that comes in the palette. Now I'm going to use this Easy Illuminating Stick in Ballerina. These are brand new as well and I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheekbones, also to the sides of my nose, anywhere where I really want a glow. So Cupid's bow and then I'm going to use my fingers just to pat out this cream stick and it'll give an amazing glow to your complexion. And I'm actually going to use this as a base for a highlighter I'm going to put on top of this. This is the Big Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Ballerina and I'm just going to apply this over top of that stick highlighter and it will really give you an intense glow. Now that I have my glow on, I'm going to go back to the eyes and finish those up. I'm going back to the eyeshadow palette and I'm taking macchiato eyeshadow and a small eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to smudge that right under my lower lash line to smoke out the look. Then I'm going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush to go over those edges to make sure everything is nice and blended. Then I'm going back in with the mascara and adding a couple coats to my bottom lashes. To finish off my look, I'm going to use the color Luster Lip Gloss in Gilded Honey. Then to set my makeup and add a little bit of a glow, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. Alright you guys, so that's the end of the tutorial. I will list all the products I use down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.